Hey guys, welcome to Tech Simplified TV. In today's episode, we are going to install three Perl modules in our local machine from CPAN repositories. These three modules enable us to deal with the read or write operations for MS Excel files through Perl programming interface. So sit tight and watch the video till the end. Hey guys, welcome back to the computer screen. In today's episode, we are going to install three different modules which are needed to operate on any Excel file. So first one is parse Excel. It will read the Excel and the other two are write Excel. So these are three different modules and we will go through them for the installation process. So here I have my terminal ready. Let me go ahead and check whether the CPAN binary is installed or not. We can see that the CPAN binary is already there in our machine. So what we will do? We will now look into the module. So here you can see the first module is spreadsheet colon colon parts excel. Don't worry, I will provide these three URLs in the video description from where you can directly reach to these pages. So here if you go ahead and see, it's a parser. Parser is nothing but a program that reads the file, the file which has particular set of format and specific delimiters. Now, Excel is a proprietary file and read that we need some additional modules in Perl. The first one is the parts excel that means you have already one excel file with you which you want to read. This particular module will help you to read the excel file through the Perl. So here you can see that we are in the CPAN website and here the details of this particular module is presented. So there is a parser, there is workbook and all those things are there. If you go down right, here are some examples which also you can follow. And it is a description and I think in a detailed manner, each and every function is explained here. So we will cover the installation today. So let us go back to the initial point here and in the left pane, if you Roll down, you will see the install instructions here. And one more thing, I am online right now. So my internet connection is there already, it is running. And here I can see, if I click this install instruction, these pages come out. Here, before copying that, I would like to start the CPAN shell. So our CPAN shell is ready and let me copy the install instruction. So here I have pasted the install instruction and I hit enter. So you can see it has started to fetch the respective files from the repository and it is progressing for the installation. So it is asking for the root password. Let me provide it. So I have the given the root permission for the installation in Linux. For any installation, you have to provide the root password this has finished let me check back now, 
I think it has finished uh, properly. There are a lot of files uh, here and there. You can see the final message is OK. It has been installed. So this particular module has been installed in our system. So I'll close it. Now let us move on to the next module. This module is a spreadsheet colon colon write excel. So this means with this help of this particular module, you will be able to write the excel files. And just to remind you, the excel file is a proprietary file. So here this module will help us to write it. So you can see here all the methods are there. These are displayed. If you click them, you will get the description. And if you go scroll down, right, you will get some examples too. Here are the examples which you can use for quick start. Here you can see the file produced by the module is compatible from Excel 97 up to 2007. So you can see here is another note. Note this module is maintenance only mode and in future only occupied with bug fixes. The newer more featured API module is Excel Conton Writer Exodus, which we have already for our installation. So here you can see a quick start guide is there and here the methods are there and they are explained in detail. Let me go back to the initial point. And if I scroll down here, right here, if I click on the install instruction, so I'll see here the install command. So what I do, I copy this. And let me paste it here. So you can see the installation has started and it is proceeding and I think we are done here with the installation because it is saying OK and here let us go back and check whether anything any suspicious message or something like that if it is not then it has been installed I think it is OK. So this particular module is also installed. So let me close this one. Now let us move to the third module here, which is a more up to date version as per the note that was already there. Here you can see it uh, has methods here to manage the writing process. And here are also some formatting methods are also there so i'm not going in details let me go for some here you can see there is some example which you can use to do a quick start so here you can see methods are described okay so this way you can go ahead and explore by yourself here let me go for the install instructions I go there let me copy this line and I paste it in the pen shell so I'm online and you can see it has started to fetch the files from the repositories and it is installing them and one more fact is that since we have given the sudo password for the first package installation and we have not closed the particular terminal it is not asking anymore. Now we are operating as a root for the installation. You can see this has much more files because going on and on. Let us wait for it to complete. So folks, 
here the installation has completed you can see there are so many modules those were installed and so many files were fetched from the repositories Let me close it. So today we have installed the first one, the parse Excel. That means we'll be able to read the Excel file using this module. The write Excel, which is now in maintenance mode. However, we have installed and we'll use it. And also we have installed a much more advanced module to write Excel, which is Excel colon colon writer Excelus. The goal of today's episode is done. We have installed the three different modules to play with the Excel file. We have hit the end of this episode and bye for today.